uh, round three of this release event for Age of Ascension and Keyforge here at 401 Games in Toronto. Uh, I'm Travis. I'm Sung Ho. Uh, we've got this match is between Angela and Kirk. Kirk is another uh, regular uh, to Keyforge in Toronto. Uh, I think I've seen. I think Angela was out last weekend, uh, if I remember correctly. But so we've got Robnar, Logos, and Mars against Sanctum, Shadows, and Untamed. So all unique houses here. It seems very um, rare if you get like more than two of the same house like what against mean? each other. Oh, uh, it depends. Yeah, you know, still getting used to some of the new cards, so not too much just standing out for me. All right, Kirk, Ooh, we'll start with that knife card from the first uh, set, but still a good card. Logos, we got. So it's uh, what is that? Fila, Fila the researcher, and then draw a car, and then we got Xpion. Oh wow! Okay. So yeah, when she's destroyed, she archives herself and the top card of her deck. Mm -hmm. Shadows again. Uh, Lumindra and the Yahtzee gang. So to play elusive, it just gives her neighbors elusive is really the big thing. Wow. Just gives and super... some great art. Huh. Yahtzee guy, big body, steals. But it's also <laughs> elusive, so until they get rid of Lumendra, it's going to be a pain to get rid of the Yahtzee gang as well. Yeah. But there's lots of cards that deal a single point of damage, so... Just like back the knife, but... Yeah. Ravnar. We got a Groggins and a Gumpins? No, that's... Yeah, that one. So Groggins can only attack uh, creatures that are on the not on the flank. Ogo and Pogo. Ogopogo. And Groggin. Sorry, can only do flank. Ogopogo deals two damage. Only flank creatures. Alright. This is where that untamed artifact would be very helpful here. Yeah. I suspect we'll see shadows continue here. Mm -hmm. Though you always get a little bit nervous when uh, starting to build a board with some big bodies. Yeah. Shadow. So triple reap. So life for follow the life for life. So we're gonna kill Ogopogo, trying to decide which was character sex present. Yeah, Lumen is right. the right choice there. A lot of sanctum. So it might be a choice to pick next turn. So okay. A lot of Mars cards in her hand, but Oh yeah. Just wanna kill Yahtzee Gang. Cyber Giant Rig. What? Oh, interesting. Huh. That is super cool. And it's gone. <laughs> He's still a big boy. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a classic 12 power. Yeah. Going with Shadows again? Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Sorry. Gotta remember Mac. Doesn't matter who he picks. So, Berlin the Redeemed, or Borden the Redeemed, sorry. Wow, Actually, that's Captain cool. Redeemed. He's low health, though. Ca like to capture, It's going to be good to block a key. Yeah. You're not going to hold on to Protect it very long. Protect the weak. Ooh, discards a couple cards. Huh. It's a very diplomatic decision to choose to discard a character instead of playing it. Like he dropped like a lost, he dropped a six cost character or a six power character. Yeah, I didn't see what it was. Yeah, yeah I, I, she's got to 
do something like Rob Narsh can get some work done, but it's not gaining her any amber, amber it's not slowing Kurt's right. amber generation down. Yeah. Wow. Ramo does Bravo. two damage to each flank creature, enemy flank, when it comes into play. Interesting, she'll reap with Groggins. We. Kirk will forge. Bumble bird. <laughs> no other untamed creatures for power canners. Oh, that's cool. Darna, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Song of Spring would be a nice combo with the Bumblebird if he had a, had, mm -hmm. had a board. Mm -hmm. well, I guess you can only play it once a turn, so Rathnar. yeah, never mind. Resnar is interesting, lets you fight and destroy, destroy an uh, artifact. The Amber bonus is good, but it's really just about <laughs> killing that thing. Angela is going Mars this time. Oh, yeah, you see his destroyer, yeah. Stim Ranger deals uh, damage to a creature and move it to a flank. Oh, it's just someone that we saw in. Yep. Yep. We had it in an earlier game. Yeah. Is that Crystal yep. something? Yeah, Elix Dominator. Uh, Martian Hands, yeah. Cool. So there's two damage creatures out there. Gets four extra power on uh, the mm. Stim Ranger. Kirk declares shouldn't untamed. The, shouldn't the Cyber Giant Rig lose a power counter? Uh, it should. Okay. Uses Dharma's ability to heal too when it reaps. Oh, because they want to kill his own creature. I see. So the Tantalion or Tantalin. That's it. The tree thing. Antigen. It only deals two when it's fighting, and when it fights, you discard a random card from your opponent's hand. How can he fight that? Oh. Got it, got it. There's two damage there, it doesn't quite kill it. Now, she could have done the same thing the other way. She could have just attacked the Glitter Skim, taken no damage, or right, taken no damage, right. and done the two because his armor was already chewed through for that turn. Another untamed turn for Kirk after Corging a Key. Ah, there it is. Niffle Grounds? Yep, and we're on check to win. Another tree dude? Yeah. Already puts Kirk on the verge of closing up the game next turn unless Angela can get rid of some of that amber. Wild Wormhole, let's see if that will help. Um... Interesting. Yeah, plays the Mars creature, but yep. So remote oh, access. Like exhaust an artifact. Okay. So far, not stealing any amber or no. raising the price of a key. And that's game. Yeah. It's interesting. So far today, games have gone pretty quickly. New set. 
uh, is reputedly one that's a little bit more back and forth, longer games. But yes. today's experience isn't really playing that out. Um, but we'll see if some of the later rounds uh, will that story will change.